In the last video, we downloaded this data from Africa 1997 to 2024. So this, we are going to start some little processing on this data to confide it to the location of our study. Okay, so there's an Excel file with over 184.6 megabytes. So it's quite heavy, you know. So we're going to open up the Excel, look at it, and then we're going to proceed to ArcGIS. So um, this is how the data is. I think if we scroll down here, we can see that the data is up to 37,600, is it 3,764,000, no, it should be 37, 376,499, okay. 376,499. Alright, so it ranges from all the African countries. Alright, and then this is how the data are. We have the event ID, which is the country, then the year, which those crime occurs. I think they arrange them from 97 down to 2024, all that. So they are mixed with each other. Then the year, time i think they really didn't maybe number of times time precision and all that so this how what kind of distance is this it is political battle political versus explosion remote violence different kind of uh, strategic protests and wrecks so you could look through this data they are quite uh, information you can achieve arm clash so you can look through the data and all that so there are quite a number of information you can uh, you so you begin to think of what to use it for and then we have its location here as latitude and longitude now fatalities like how many people were involved and all that so um, all of that so timestamps are all in this data so this makes it easier for us to you know go ahead with so it's already saved as a CSV, so we just close this down and let's say we save it. And let's just save it back in that same location. So now that that is done, it's saved. So we're going to go over to ArcGIS and we're going to click on File. And we'll come down to Add Data and we're going to add XY Data. So we we'll click on this uh, folder symbols here and we click on the browse Okay, so we're going to go to the folder where that is. And we're going to click on this, we click on add. Then the longitude, which is the X field has appeared. So we looked for the latitude for the Y field. And it has unknown coordinates, so we can just go ahead and put it in, no problem. Yeah, not necessary because it's the whole of Africa. So, but you can put it on WGS 1984. Okay, so it's loading. Okay, so we have the data loaded. And we can know that this is Madagascar. So this small country here, plenty of crime activities like this. Oh yeah now. All right, so um, this is the entire data that we have acquired from the site we just downloaded and you can see how Nigeria is so full. Now what we're going to do is that we want to clip it to just an extent. Now this may imply you have a state in the country, you are looking for the whole country data or you're looking for even the local government. This is where we can do that. We can actually do that on 
attributable but from what i'm seeing in this data they didn't really prepare it for that because they prepared it based on year so each year has a code number so i don't think we'll be able to do that through that means so what we can do is to bring in a shape file and use that shape file to clip so i'm going to bring in the shape file of the whole nigeria so we're going to use it to clip out the data involving nigeria so that our shape file is here and we're going to go to geo processing so this is happening because the file is quite big all right so uh, it's happening like that so you the input future will be the shape file we just created though it's still an event layer but no problem when you make that clip it's going to convert to uh, so bring in nigeria as our clip future so when you bring it in and you do that you create a place where you put the shape file it becomes um it becomes what we call uh, a shape file or a future class okay so um, that we have this and let's put it here as a shape file or oh, it's not going to accept being a shape file so let's find where we can get a geo database um, Let's find where we can get a Geo database. I think I have where I created for Geo database, but I can just save now. But let's put it back in this Nigeria. Oh, we have one Geo database here, but this Geo database is okay. Let's put it here as prime and let's save it. And then we'll click on okay. So we watch it do its thing. It's going to take time because the data is quite big. Okay. it's quite big for an excel file so imagine if it was a shape file to be ranging in hundreds of thousands of kilobytes or megabytes anyone so let's wait for it So it has clipped. So let's remove the Africa so that we have. Now that I see the moment we remove Africa, you can see that automatically uh, the, the load lightens up. So let's go to properties now. We'll right click and go to open attribute table so that we could view. So you can see that the speed has increased. So you will now see that we have year 2024. See, it's arranged based on year like that so 2024 has had 2023 like that like that like that like that continuous so if you look at all of this let's say we select and uh, let's go to um, select by attribute and let's see if we could uh, make some this thing. so let's make selection based on year all right so let's select year equal to uh, let's say we're selecting year 2024 and we load so you see that the whole of 2024 we have 3058 out of 37,236 crime that's occurred so the year 2024 alone has that already so if we select that of 2023 so go to select by attribute and we select here again we call to we go to unique and then let's select uh, 2023 and we say applied. So year yeah, 2023 has 47,000, uh, sorry, 4,740. So basically, this is all we could show on this video. So we will continue with videos on this, but then I believe I've shown you a way to go forward from here. So I will see you in the next video. So if you like what we are sharing, please don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel, like, share, and comment. Thank you.